Pakistani government prosecutors are continuing to use delaying tactics in Imran Khan and his wife Busha Bibi's cases. Mr Khan and his wife have filed appeals in their convictions in multiple cases as well as bail applications after hasty sham trials were conducted in secrecy in jail. Court government prosecutors are running away. Today the Al Qadir trust case was adjourned again for a week as they have not showed up on court, said barrister Salman Safdar, Mr Khan's lawyer. Imran Khan has now been in solitary confinement for 268 days and has not been seen in public since his arrest. Mr Khan and his wife also continue to be denied the required medical care by Pakistan's authoritarian regime. Hundreds of overseas Pakistanis in Toronto, Canada held a car rally demanding the release of illegally incarcerated former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. Hundreds of cars could be seen with the PTI flags and posters. Senior PTI USA leader Atif Khan was at the rally and called for the restoration of PTI's stolen mandate along with the release of all political prisoners. Quote, Imran Khan is struggling for our future generations, so it is the duty of all Pakistanis to raise our voice for Imran Khan, unquote, said one participant who drove for hours to attend the rally. Justice Babar Sattar, the Islamabad High Court judge who is conducting proceedings in the audio leaks case, imposed fines worth 500,000 rupees on Pakistan's Federal Investigation Agency, Pakistan Telecommunication Authority and PEMRA, the media regulator, while dismissing their pleas seeking his recusal. The development came as the court heard petitions filed last year by former Prime Minister Imran Khan's spouse Busha Bibi and Najam Saqib, son of former Chief Justice of Pakistan Saqib Nisar against leak audio recordings of telephone conversations. Justice Babar Sattar is also one of the six judges who signed a letter in which High Court judges detailed threats and pressure by Pakistan's intelligence agencies to rule in cases against Imran Khan. Pakistan Tehreek and Saf PTI, the party of Imran Khan, has announced Monday that it will participate in the farmers' protests against the wheat procurement policy in Punjab. Farmers throughout Punjab, the largest province of the country, are left reeling after the illegal provincial government has refused to purchase their wheat a norm during the spring season. Asad Qaisar, PTI senior leader, announced in the National Assembly today that his party would support the farmers' protest while condemning the illegal Punjab provincial government, which arrested several farmers who were protesting outside the provincial assembly. Global protests over Israel's genocide of the Palestinians continue from college campuses across the world to human rights conferences in Pakistan, while pro-Palestinian demonstrations and sit-ins are spreading at universities across the United States and in several campuses around the world. A young Pakistani questioned the hypocrisy of the German ambassador who was speaking about human rights in Pakistan. Why your country is brutally abusing the people speaking for the rights of the Palestinians? You are dying! Hundreds of students and staff at several U.S. universities have been arrested while protesting against Israel's war on Gaza, which have killed over 34,000 people, mostly women and children. 